How's my hair? My name is Kinga, <laughs> also known as On Her Bike on my social media. I've been traveling around the world for six years. I'm originally from Poland. I immigrated to Australia in 2006. I lived there for 12 years and for the last six years I've been uh, you know, traveling around the world. So far I've covered Australia, Asia, Europe, Africa. Now I'm in North America. Yeah, I still have South America to do, so I reckon to finish my first loop, it's gonna take me like three years the way I'm going because I'm not in rush. I'm going for the, the, slow, the slowest ride around the world. <laughs> Joking. So this is Chile, 800 GS from 2015. We've been riding together since the beginning of that trip. We like one, you know? When I'm like, on my videos, when I said like, we, that means we, there's no me. There's like, I'm not traveling solo, I'm traveling with Chile. Right, so Amanda asked me to show you what, uh, what Chile has. Chile is not just a standard 800 GS, she's actually quite modified and it took me years and years and years to craft it her, for my needs and my height and all. So let's start with en engine guards, they from Outback Motortech, skid plate Outback Motortech, I have Scott steering damper, foldable mirrors, Akaprovich exhaust pipe, Camel tank, which give it's like seven liter auxiliary tank, uh, an extra one. Uh, TFX rear shock, progressive springs at the front from TFX. I also have LED lights, uh, and these are custom made lights in Poland. I, I, I got them as a gift. And Chile also has LED front lamp, uh, which I bought on AliExpress. So it works like like magic, I'm telling you. And she's got Wunderlich windscreen. Uh, which is broken because she smashed into the ceiling and yes i know it's a good story like how can she smash into the ceiling without falling down yes i know i know but it, it's a true story it really happened so when i was changing tires uh, with paul in texas under the, the he's, we put chili on a like a lift and then there was an awning above us and uh, he just lifted her up too too high and then that's it her windscreen is cracked and we just stitched it together works like yeah, like magic. And this is where my GPS is. <sighs> I'm ancient, man. This is like Garmin Montana 650 that I've been using for like 11 years. <laughs> I don't use this as a GPS. I use quad lock mount and my phone. And this is, I always have it on to record my route because this won't fail, you know what I mean? And, so, and then I know exactly my route around the world. And of course, in emergency, when it's raining, the phone is off, or it's not charged for whatever reason it happened, then I go to my GPS. But it's just so ancient that it's so frustrating to operate it. So I wouldn't recommend it. But I, I do have it because it's still working and I really, literally I record, I just record my route on it. So yeah, and then let's not forget about Aussie quad lock and Aussie bug busters um, handguards. And last but not least, pivot pegs. And as for the tires, I use my favorite ones, uh, Bridgestone Adventure Cross, because they the, the best knobbies, I think, for my, my type of bike and my type of riding. But sometimes, every now and then, if I don't do too much off-road and, you know, long distances, probably, like in Alaska, I will change to Bridgestone Adventure Trail, which gives me more mileage. But at the moment, I'm on Bridgestone Adventure Cross. Now, Amanda asked me to, uh, to, to tell you what's in my bags. There's so much. These bags are for quick access. So I would have here, Spare gloves, bike cover, ra rain gear, you know, uh, chain loop. Probably when I go to Alaska now, there will be bear spray because it's easy to access. And I have like, normally I travel and I like have like stuff for the kids. So I would have stickers there and like kangaroos, you know, to give it away to people. Every now and then I put something on chili because uh, I go to the, you know, I like, oh, people get fridge magnets, you know, or like people get key rings. I'm like. I'm going like, you know, like that, that's this thing, it's a voodoo, voodoo doll. It's like I was in New Orleans. What do you get from New Orleans? I had to buy Chile a voodoo doll. These are the beads from Cowboy Mardi Gras in, in Bandera, right? Uh, a gift from uh, Nova Scotia from Canada. Uh, my host was an aeroplane mechanic. It's like a true story, like a theater. Yes, uh, so this is my Guardian Breath from Tim and Marisa. Two up and overloaded. YouTubers as well, good people. I also have a bell. I bought it in Newfoundland because I was bracing myself for all these bears that's gonna like face me in Newfoundland and Labrador. I didn't see any. Here I have a, like a, no, this is a good story here. 
So here at the dashboard is like the most meaningful stuff because during my Miranda World trip, I'm raising money for Franek. Franek is a disabled child from Poland. And uh, normally, so in my first stretch from Australia to Poland, I, I was carrying him a, a, a koala, a kangaroo, I think it was a kangaroo. And then when I got to Poland, I gave it to him. So now I'm putting stuff and one, one, uh, one is a moose from, uh, from Canada. The other one is like a koala that pretends to be a kangaroo because he's got kangaroo hat on. So that's from Australia. I have also this African lady. So all of this, I know it's a bit washed out and all, but it all goes, you know, to Franek at the end when I finally return back to Europe, I'll, his mom's gonna wash it for him and he's gonna keep it, but that's for him. So this is dedicated for Franek, right? So this is like always traveling with me at the front. Yes. Tank bag. I've got what? I've got like phone, wallet, cloth, sunny spray, bear spray, no pepper spray for, for self-defense. We have our quad lock selfie stick and just like wipes. You know, that's like, like, like easy, like just the stuff that you need like immediately. <laughs> So this one is a very important one. So on the side, let's start from the side. So I've got water, a bottle, one liter of spare fuel. It saved me every time I run, I'm running out of fuel, it's just this five kilometers or like, I don't know, like three miles from the petrol station and that's when that kicks in. Saved me so many times. So this bag is dedicated to the camping gear, pretty much. And a toolbox, the toolbox is there too. It will be a tent. It would be a mattress, pillow, sleeping bag, one a liner. Then the BB, you know, the soul BB, a chair and toolbox. So in this one, the tall one at the back, I tend to uh, keep like tall things. So chain loop, an umbrella. Umbrella is like that small, but came so handy so many times. A bear spray, that sort of stuff. And uh, this is, I don't know, Amanda, if you know, but this is like the trick that I've been using recently. So when it's freezing temperatures, I get cold from the ground. So this is, you know, the emergency blanket and I put it like on, like on the floor and then the mattress works like a gem. Honestly, it's so good. So I've got two of these just for like extreme cold, cold weather, fill up the, 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 you know, like a sheet for the tent. So that's the tall stuff there. So the way I set up Chile is when I'm camping, I need all of that, right? Everything is out. But when I'm staying hostel or hotel or motel, or whatever with people, all I want to take off the bike is this bag and the tank bag, that's it. So this is pretty much what I need for every day. I mean, I don't need it for every day, but you know, I don't want to leave it on the bike. Everything else is lockable except for these two. So I grab this bag, it's like a backpack. I you know, can carry it up the stairs, whatever, hostel, motel, whatever. Right, so in this bag, we have clothes, cosmetics, like a lot of them, a laptop. In my defense, I don't carry too many clothes. Actually, my clothes are fit like in a, that's the bag with my clothes, like all of them. Uh, yeah, except for maybe, you know, like the liners for riding, but for walking and casual, like that's it. It's a compression bag. It's just, I have a lot of cosmetics, like a lot, like a one bag, like, like probably like that size and then the small one and then the small one. So it's like majority of this bag is cosmetics. Don't tell anyone, <laughs> okay? okay? Here at the back, Spare batteries for the cameras, all the cables, that sort of stuff. So again, I open it for whatever recording I need. It's like I open it and I do it. There, there will be snacks, so easy access. Uh, there will be the uh, compressor for the tires. And that's it. Just a lot of snacks. This bag, spare tools, food, maybe rain jacket, like the casual one. Extra cosmetics. <laughs> so here I would have the cooking stove, gas bottle. A uh, beanie, yeah, and I think that's it. But I want to show you what, like, this is my new invention. Are you ready? I, I, I think I'm gonna impress you now. Are you ready? Three meter selfie stick for the three, 360 camera. And then like here, I have another selfie. This is how I record. Here, another one. And this, this uh, is my cable for the heated liner, right? And I think that's it. Chili, what else you have? Are you hiding something? No, I think that's it. Well, th thank you very much for all of this. I actually, no, I don't think I've ever <sighs> talked about my bike so much <laughs> on a video, but Chili's very happy. She's very happy. She's got all the attention. She's like a star on the interwebs. So yeah, thank you guys for watching Amanda's channel. She's a legend. I adore her to bits. You can follow me on my channel as well. <laughs> it's on her bike and all social media on her bike, yeah. Follow, subscribe, like, comment, you know what to do. Where I'm going, yes. So I'm going to Alaska next.
<laughs> is this a, is this the final shot? This is the final. Okay. Hold on. Final. Okay. Stretch. 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 <laughs> We're done. <laughs> So this yes. is the actual motel sign from the Bates, the Bates Motel from the movie Psycho. It's a total mirror image of it. Anyone can arrive It's free. Here? Anybody can come. And we set it up because there's just not that many great spots to camp for free in the gorge. It's gotten very popular. Right. You know? So do they need to call you up or do you know anyone can just rock up? Yeah, they contact the Moscow customer service. So please don't just rock up because it's also my house. So right. I like to know who's coming on the property. That's um, good. And That's so good not be surprised, but um, it's really simple. You just call in and say, hey, I want to stay at the motel. Here's my dates. Here's many people in my group. And then they put it on a little calendar, and I have the same calendar on my phone, and then I know, oh look, there's people coming in. That's so nice of you yeah. that you've created that space. It's a community, Just right? for the community, yeah. And it's not even really about, like, for me, I mean, I love meeting the travelers that come through here, but I think if we could get it to a point where it's the travelers meeting each other, right. that's when the magic happens. Yes. You know, and that happens, that happens. High five. Yeah. I like it. <laughs> Good job, Mike.